If you are a person declared eligible to receive English education... I think it's uh, silly on some level, and it's unfortunate that uh, in terms of thoughtful approaches to uh, legislate, that the government would come up with something that uh, is extremely difficult, if at all possible, to implement. Since Bill 96 came into effect on June 1st in Quebec, you have to attest that you have the right to receive certain government services in English. For example, the City of Montreal's website and its 311 phone service explain who can receive services in English. Then, to use these services, citizens have to, in good faith, declare that they do indeed qualify for the right. The big call for good faith uh, on these type of issues in terms of uh, determining whether you qualify for the services is probably not going to succeed when the majority of people who uh, are being required to do this don't feel that the government's legislation is based on good faith. This is the City of Montreal's website in English. At the top of its homepage, there is a link to a Government of Quebec website explaining who can receive public services in English. Those who qualify are people declared eligible to receive instruction in English, the Indigenous people and immigrants during their first six months in Quebec. The City of Laval also has this link at the top of their English homepage, but Longueuil only has their website in French, but they do offer a page in English explaining how to use Google Translate to translate French into other languages. In accordance with the charter of the French language... Citizens who have the right to service in English have to declare that they do indeed have have this right after dialing 311 to speak to someone with the city of Montreal. If you attest in good faith that you are covered by one of the following exceptions. The city of Cote St. Luke, a bilingual town, posted this message on their line, a cheeky take. Oh, and by the way, you don't need to show us your grade three report card or your family tree going back 10 generations. I think uh, we, we need to give some sort of trust to the people at the end of the day if we want to receive some trust back. So I think um, it's always a balance. Having to declare that you're Anglophone, I think that's just unnecessary. We know in Quebec that there's people who speak English here and there's people who speak French. They're not, not going to say the truth to get the same service. So I think the, the law will, uh, will have may probably have to change uh, to be fair to, uh, for, for everybody. This will probably create more frustration on the part of the very people that the government uh, has contributed to uh, sort of creating this high level of anxiety about the condition of the French language will probably feel these measures aren't working and will probably call for something else. In Montreal, Gareth Maddock-Jones, City News.